Oh boy, I couldn't help myself. I just had to come out here and test it. I don't know if you can see much because the light's gone down. But it's going to look so cool. I'm sort of. The lights are on. We're good to go. Let's make sure I'm in the right mode here. Yep, normal SL. Here we go. Whoa, nice. Oh, yeah. Yours pretty good as well. Oh, that just looks bloody awesome up there. Um, doesn't much like coming down in its own wash. It's a bit like a quad. Yeah, basically a quad with a tail. No, that's the receiver light. Just thinking there's a blue light there, but I, like, I can't really do much flying around because I can't. Although I can see see it, I don't know what orientation it's in. So, <laughs> that's why I really need to test it properly tomorrow so I can get a feel for its flight characteristics. But, no, it's fine. Feels all right. Um, PIDs need. A, adjusting now by the feel of this it feels a bit flopsy at the moment but get that dialed in and it'll feel okay might land just land in a second if you're wondering if one of the leds have died no it hasn't it was just the esc on the side that was in the way <laughs> I think it's like artificial sunlight. Because <laughs> when it's over here, it's like we're getting this faint glow of red on the grass. There we go, yes, yeah, this this faint glow of red on the grass. It does need tuning though, it's a bit, it does feel a bit loose. That's why I'm keeping it tailing so I don't lose orientation. It's quiet though, for 10 inch props, and they're plastic. Trying to keep my head level. It's awkward when you have to turn your head to focus. This is just one battery. 
don't know how long I've been going for. It's got no real load though, and there's no cameras or anything on it. Uh, yeah, the chimney's doing as well. 